Good morning. How are we doing? Today is Sunday, 23rd of February. And I'm up early because uh, boss asked me to go to work this morning, do a test. Which is absolutely fine, no big deal. But, um, <sighs> yeah, um, obviously, as I'm up early, I've been on the uh, noting on the forum this morning early and there was some man on there essentially saying that no one's had it really as hard as him he's had this that and tava all without any support blah 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 Do you want a gold star? First off, it's not a competition for who can go through the most on their own. You don't get any more points in life for going through anything on your own. Secondly, just because you've been able to deal with something quietly, whatever, however you want to put it, without venting to people doesn't mean that other people can it's essentially just saying that people are big gather grand babies essentially for looking for support which the whole point of the forum? Am I mistaken? Surely the whole point of a forum is to be able to... Surely the whole point of the forum is to be able to exchange experiences to talk about what you've gone through and to be able to relate to people and to give support, support to other people that are going through a really rough time when you may be not having such a rough time. I don't know, I'm, maybe I'm much mistaken, but it is not a competition. It is not a competition between you and what you're able to go with about support and without being at the hospital every five seconds. Well done, congratulations. I'm really pleased that you've, you've been able to do with it without being in that the hospital, without being poked and prodded every two bloody seconds. It's not the same for other people. It is not the same for other people. One person's experience is, is going to be a completely 360 degrees from somebody else's experience. You being able to get away, being able to deal with just having one or two operations, congratulations, mate. You've done really well. Proud of you, you know. I'm glad your disease and your experience has been that way. But just because it's your experience doesn't mean it's the same for everybody else. Do not sit there and essentially tell people that they're a bunch of big babies and need to get a grip on life because they're asking for support. Sorry mate, you might have an incredibly thick head and be able to deal with all of this without having, you know, up here, go a little bit, bit fucking woo-woo. Not everybody can. I'm someone that had a very strong fucking brain. My brain is fucked because of this. Well done for you for being able to deal with it because not everybody else can. Some people need to vent. Some people need to be able to, to speak to somewhere about it that feels safe. And all you've done is made few people feel as if they ain't fucking safe in a place where they should feel safe. You're a complete dickhead. But congratulations for being able to deal with all that, that, I mean, you know, people around you. 
You're obviously wanting a gold star. Take a gold star and go stick it on your fucking chart. I'm pleased when people can deal with things and can deal with things on your own. Deal with it on your own if you're able to. A lot of people can't deal with things on their own. You can sit and you can wallow. You can have all these thoughts going around your head and it's getting faster and faster and faster and faster. And sometimes the only way that you can feel better is by speaking. So, mate, some of the people on a forum, specifically for Crohn's and Clyde, asking for help or asking for pointers. Instead of, you know, slagging people off that are looking for pointers, why don't you sit there and you think, that person's having something similar to me? Why don't I just, you know, come on something nice and say, oh, I've, I've had this happen. Or I've had a similar situation to you. Try this, that, X, Y, Z, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Instead of posting at, what, I don't know, it was like four o'clock in the morning. Essentially slagging people off. Because you didn't, essentially, essentially, what it is, is it, he's either wanting a gold star from going through it all on his own, or he's pissed off that he's had, had to go through it all on his own. It ain't nobody's fault. It's nobody's fault. It's no one's fault that they've got this bloody disease. Disease is. But it doesn't make you better than anyone else to be able to go through it on your own at all. No one is better than anybody else. We're all in, right. We're all in a sea, we're all in a choppy sea, we're all in a life raft, but all in that life raft, we've all got our own storm going on. And we've all got our own many little life rafts going on that we're struggling to keep down. Yours might be calm. Congratulations. Doesn't mean everybody else is. You can look across to you and there's someone else there struggling. Instead of sitting there laughing at them, thinking, oh, you're a twat. Why don't you go there and you help and you, you offer some help? Personally, it's what I do. I've tried to offer help and experiences. If not, I've been. I've tried to offer a love. But instead, you're sitting there and you're slagging people off, looking for help on a forum that is specifically made to, to help. <laughs> and it's not competition. That is the biggest thing. It is not a competition in life. We are all dealing. Not even just with Crohn's and colitis. We are all dealing with our own stuff. We are all dealing with shit nobody else has got a clue with. <coughs> and I'm sorry, I would much rather someone come on to, to a forum, support page, whatever you want to call it, and have a moan. Rather than have people be scared to come on another moan on a forum that, in my opinion, is kind of that's the whole point. I don't know. I might, I might, I'd much rather that than have people be scared to come onto a forum and say, I'm struggling, this, this, this. Has anyone got any idea? rather than keep hearing about these people that are taking their own lives when they feel alone. Because we're not alone in this disease. We are not alone. That is the biggest thing I keep trying to reiterate because no one is alone in this disease. There is always going to be someone there with an ear to bend. People need to stop being proud. We all need help every now and then. If you're someone that doesn't, all props to you, you carry on, you do you. But do not sit, do not, please for the life of me, do not sit and essentially slag people off for looking for help. I don't, I don't understand, I don't, I don't understand it. Why, why would you do that? Why would you, I don't know, I'm, I don't know, maybe I'm... Hello, I'm blind, I'm blind. 
I'm not blind. I'm blind. I don't. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't. I don't get it. If you're wondering why I'm talking this way, I've got no bloody drink. Who's gone on with that thing? <coughs> I've not really spoken this morning, so it's why my voice is all over the place. But for Christ's sake! I would 100% much rather be reading about people that are seeking help or seeking advice than I would about people killing themselves because it is happening so fucking often. People are feeling alone, they're feeling stressed, they're feeling scared. And they're choosing to take their own lives rather than ask for help. And you think that it's okay to sit and essentially slag people off for us? God, so I'm sorry, it's really fucked me off seeing that. You're essentially slagging people off for asking for help on a place where it's a forum, it's a support group, it's what it's there for. If you're tired of seeing it, leave the fucking group. If you're that bothered by it, the fact that you feel a need to put a rant on at whatever time in the bloody morning, the people that are struggling to sit and see well, they may be on the toilet for an hour in the morning. Just because you're not doesn't mean that other people aren't struggling. This is the biggest fucking thing. You may not be struggling. Other people are. You may be in the middle of the calmest fucking sea ever. Other people ain't. It is so wrong and it has fucked me off. It's pissed me off. No one knows what anyone else is going through. We have similar experiences, but no one's journey is 100% exactly the same. You may be cushy, you may be all right. Other people are not. And to sit and essentially say, I don't understand the mentality. I do not understand the mentality. Maybe, I don't know, maybe you want to be a big, be a big macho man. But you, 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 you don't look like a big macho man, you look like a dickhead. My opinion, I am entitled to it. You may think it's wrong, I don't think it's wrong, you look like a dickhead. And you look like a bully. You look like a bully. If there is anyone out there that is needing help, needing to reach out, then if you want to reach out to me, reach out to me. I'll be in here to bend. You can bend me here all day long. It's fine. Reach out to the support place because I would much rather any day of the week see it flooded with people looking for help than to keep seeing about people that are dying because of this disease and what it does to you. Any day of the week I'd much rather see that than, 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 than it breaks my heart every single time I see a post about someone that's passed away or has taken their own life because of this disease. I would much rather that. So if you feel like this is a safe space, please feel free to get in contact with me. It may take me a while to get back to you because I'm really crap at getting back to people. I will get back, I will get in contact. I will always be available because no one is alone in this disease. No one is alone. There is always gonna be someone there. No matter what time of the day or night. I'm here early and there's no one else here and I haven't got my keys, so. 
I would much rather listen to someone. I'd much rather listen to someone's issues than I'd rather listen to li listen to their eulogy. Whatever way you turn it. By the way, if you notice that, that I have got new glasses. Bit of a ranty raving one today, but I, I needed to. I needed to come on and have my say this morning because that bothered me reading that this morning. It's not even that it bothered me that I'm someone looking for support right now. I'm, all, I'm okay where I am. It's bothered me that there's going to be people that come on, go on there that wake up this morning looking for support and then feel like they can't get support because of one person's post on there it's not a nice thing to read even as someone who is not in the middle of the worst pain ever that I felt and it's the thing is you're, you're the thing is, is you're essentially trying to this this is what got, gets me <coughs> right is you're essentially putting what you've experienced as what everyone else experiences, experiences. That's not your experience. Is your experience, you know? Some people may be able to cope with this disease and you know not need support. Other people can't simple as that I don't understand the mentality behind it unless it is unless it is that he wants a gold star unless it is that he wants to feel like a big man but you know congratulations well done you don't know what damage that post has done because it has done damage I can pretty much guaranteed it's done damage to someone and that's not on you can't you can't base your experiences as the same as someone else's experience you people can go years and years without having to have anything done for this disease congratulations you know that's that's wicked I would much rather I'd much rather not be on drugs same as 90% if not more than the people that have this disease you'd much rather not be on any drugs you'd much rather be able to control this with diet if not not have this at all but if you could just control this with diet it would be brilliant it would be absolutely brilliant you'd know exactly where you stood if not you had a good idea of where you stood but when you get to the point where nothing's working or it feels as if nothing's working, it feels like you're in the middle of a black hole. You should feel like you could can reach out to people. You shouldn't be made to feel as if you can't reach out to people because oh well that that bloke's been saying that we're a bunch of big babies. No, it's not true. We're not babies. We, no one's a baby for reaching out and asking for help. At all. No one is any less of a person for reaching out for help. Same as no one is any more of a person for not reaching out for help. It doesn't make you any better than everybody else. Simple as that. Reaching out, not reaching out, it doesn't change who a person is. At all. I would much rather see people reaching out than having to keep reading about people that have taken their own lives. Sorry, that's just my personal preference. Because I see, I see all the posts of people with, that are struggling and to see all the people that are supporting 
or just offering up some kind of of word is 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 a lot more warming than it is to read about some guy that's you know managed to go through x amount of years without constantly being in the hospital or constantly being at doctors or constantly being poked and prodded I'd much rather be able to just comment on his post saying, you know, well done for being able to do all that on your own. If I then say that, I'm then condoning how he's essentially spoken of other people that have asked for help. I do not condone people speaking to other people like that. I don't condone people making others feel less than because they've asked for help. I would much rather people ask for help in any aspect. Not just with this disease, but in any aspect, I'd much rather have someone reach out than not reach out. Simple as that. because it is, we're all, we're all in the middle of a storm we see. We're all on a life raft. But on that life raft, we've all got our own storm going on. Some of us have got clear water, clear calm water, some of us do not. So, be kind. Don't, don't, judge others by your own journey because your journey is completely different to somebody else's. Simple as that. And it looks like my namesake Storm is going to be wrecking the country today, so sorry. <coughs> <coughs> I hope you're well. If you're not, I hope you get well quickly. Um, stay hydrated. Very important. I have got water in there somewhere. I've got water somewhere. Um, stay well, stay hydrated. Sleep well if you can. If you can't, catch a nap whenever. All that jazz. I'll see you guys in the next one.